Hi, I'm Will Alexander with another dog show tip for you. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between a hard stack dog on the ground and a free bait dog on the ground, as well as I'm going to put a hand stack dog on the table and a baiting dog on the table. So it'll take a little time and I hope you enjoy it. This is Peyton. The hand stack Peyton on the ground is just like the no fuss stack. You hold her head, you place the, t the legs where you want to place them, head straight, spine straight, tail up, ta-da. When you're doing the table stack, let me move this toy so she doesn't see it, same thing. Now a lot of people make a lot of mistakes putting their dogs on the table. This is one you, you are not allowed to make. A lot of handlers will do this. They'll tick the dog up with the head and tail and put it on the table. A lot of judges are going to get very angry with you on that because they're going to think you're going to hurt your dog's back, which you could very well do. With dogs on the floor, make sure you pick them up by the chest cavity and place them on the table. If they're one, if they're a hard stack dog and you want to take the lead off, this is when you take the lead off. Then again, you'll go, go about your business. Head straight, spine straight. There's your picture once again. So this is Smudgy. Smudgy's a Parson Russell Terrier. Now, as well as Miss P, the Beagle, Smudgy can be hard stacked. Where I follow the rules, head straight, spine straight, and set her up. That's perfectly acceptable. Same thing on the floor. I can hand, st hand stack her. just like any other dog. And again, that's perfectly acceptable. But watch what happens when we do this with smudge. As a handler, we're always looking for that little edge. Something that's going to grab the judge's eye. Watch what happens with smudgy. Smudgy, wake up. I use a small toy. And ta-da, a little more animation and a smudge. Come on, wake up, wake up. Smudge, smudge. Much more animation, better ears, better attention, everything's tense. Keep your tail up. The dogs don't get bored as much either. Here, baby girl, want a piece of this? <laughs> get back. Where's your tail? Where's your tail? Good girl, where's your tail? Where's your tail? Good girl, where's your tail? Good girl. So that's the difference between the two the hard stack and the free stack. Both breeds are capable of doing it and both are perfectly acceptable. Sometimes one just gets more out of it than the other. Now just to recap, both ideas, the hard stack and the free stack, are both acceptable in any situation. You just notice that one tends to overshadow the other if done correctly. Both the hard stack. Sometimes dogs need that hard stack because you need to get little angles out of them or little pushes out of them. And the free stack, if the dog has it inside their head, they're going to show off that way. Both can overwhelm many judges, but both don't happen overnight. As you as you know very well, our, we have already done a video on the hard stack and a video on the free stack. So you might want to go back and look at those again and practice and look at both again and practice. You learn by doing things over and over and over again before you're ready to do it in the ring. Don't just jump in and do it because you may flop. I've done that once or twice myself.